one of the components of relatively large importance in the excellence project for the Department of Geosciences is the acquisition of new instruments and tools for increasing the capability of high performance computing for all the groups of research in different fields in, within the department working on artificial intelligence, numerical modeling and other methods that require these powerful computational capabilities, which at the moment were not so strong within the department capabilities. After the excellence uh, project implementation of this portion, we will be able to give huge computational capability with respect to the present one. At the core of this, there will be a component of the entire university uh, cluster of uh, high performance computing built on two main cores. One is based on CPU high performance processors, used especially for numerical modeling and simulations based on deterministic and probabilistic methods for geophysics, uh, structural geology, simulation of the geological systems at the global scale. And the other one is the core of the artificial intelligence capability that is uh, very important for simulating and predicting especially processes acting very quickly and for the computation of big data and the, for example, uh, decrease of noise in data or the increasing capability of understanding something which is not truly visible at the naked eye or with traditional deterministic systems. This core of uh, artificial intelligence capability will be uh, usually increased by the acquisition of a machine which is a scalable one and which will be a component of the entire university system but also capable of working by itself and it's a DGX H100 machine with the very powerful GPU processors able to amplify of at least two orders of magnitude the present capability of computation by our research groups. Artificial intelligence, just to make an example of what will be possible, makes it possible now for us, for example, to compute monitoring data series for ground displacements leading to probably, I don't know, like disasters connected to slope failures like the Vaillant slide. This is an example for a much smaller landslide in Perarolo di Cadore, where we have several monitoring points in which we look at the deformation of the slope. What we want to do with artificial intelligence is to be able to predict, giving rainfall, uh, seismic shaking and other external forcing, what is the beginning and anticipating failure, to anticipate the disaster, to be able to save lives and also to uh, enact mitigation measures like evacuation, the building on protective structures and so on. To be able to do this, we use neural networks, no? uh, structured in uh, many different typologies of code that are able to run on GPU machines as the one we are acquiring. We are actually and presently able to apply this to predict, given the measurement of displacement in the past and the rainfall in the past, plus the predicted rainfall in the future, given by meteorological predictions, we, we are able to predict the future behavior of a slope with an anticipation of several hours or even days. But this is at present only possible on a few points, like the one we have seen in the example of Perarolo. A single landslide, a few points, because the, complex, uh, the complexity of the computation is very high. Now, with the acquisition of these new machines, we will be able to apply this same thing not to one point, but to millions of points available, like the sample 
for example, at the European scale, that gives us deformation measurements across the entire European territory with a frequency of acquisition which is weekly and probably in the near future will become even the higher frequency like daily or even sub-daily. In that way, we will be able with these machines to theoretically, potentially, we hope to be able to do this in a few years, able to predict new failures and new disasters before they occur, at least where this method is uh, applicable and working. Okay, So this is a, just an example of one possible improvement that artificial intelligence methods could be able to uh, implement in our normal or uh, everyday routines of research uh, with these new machines and computational capabilities in our department of geoscience.